Shooting with real player percentage on NBA 2K22. Oh, man. What is 2K doing? First, we have the Interceptor Badge giving you guys automatic steals. I'm talking about you do not even need to have your hand on the controller, and 2K is going to give you an automatic steal. Then we got real player percentage. More and more players on NBA 2K22 are actually using the real player percentage uh, feature that's incorporated in your settings. I don't even think... Think we could dumb the game down any further than that automatic steals with automatic shooting how further can you dumb the game down 2k has struggled for years with creating a skill gap that was extremely prevalent in nba 2k 21 this is certainly a wager generation but man you had six year olds talking about let's get a 600 dollars wager i was getting so many people in our live stream talking about let's get a wager i'm like man get out of here and that was mostly because the skill gap in nba 2k 21 was non-existent so here we are in nba 2k 22 and more and more players are starting to use real player percentage to shoot with real player percentage means that you don't even have to worry about your shot timing when activating real player percentage all you have to do is worry about shot selection if you're wide open 10 out of 10 shots will go in but what are the downsides to using real player percentage is that any level of a contest is going to really affect the percentage numbers and almost certainly make you miss your shots out there nba 2k labs just recently did a video on real player percentage and it was just like man they showcase a person with an 80 something three ball hitting 10 for 10 in the park and that is something else 2k i get it you want to make casual gamers feel at home then i think that has more so to do with implementing certain game modes that encourage casual players to play together but having something like real player percentage allows low skilled players casual gamers to shoot at a high I clip something like comp players further eliminating the skill gap between comp and casual gamers i do believe that if you're wide open shots should go in and you should be rewarded and i think that's where real player percentage really shines because it's really based on your actual shot selection if you're shooting a wide open shot you're almost guaranteed to make those shots but man sometimes people equip certain badges so that they can shoot a bit more contested shots like blinders and dead eye they want to shoot like in tight windows where they they're still just open maybe not wide open but they're open or they have a slight contest and they want to be able to hit those shots real player percentage won't necessarily let you guys do that it may drop your percentages tremendously and that's the difference between real player percentage and user timing is that user timing you have the opportunity to actually excel and increase your shooting percentage where in real player percentage you're gonna have a ceiling that you can't go past although this will be a huge benefit for like really poor shooters with poor shot selection and poor user timing they would see a huge benefit from uh, activating real player percentage. But players that are actually out there trying to get better, they're in the lab, trying to time their jump shots, trying to get that understanding so that they can increase their uh, shooting percentage, they can do that with user timing. Real player percentage is not going to be the way to go for them. So if you're a beginner on NBA 2K22 and you're looking to hit shots consistently, then you want to use real player percentage. If you're a player that wants to get to the comp level, then you don't want to get used to using real player percentage. It's just going to serve as a crutch. Although I got to say, hitting 10 for 10 in the park with an 80-something attribute is something amazing. And I think you're going to see more and more players using real Real player percentage on NBA 2K22 and in my opinion that's just dumbing the game down lessening the skill gap between comp and casual players out there hopefully 2k will eventually get it an automatic steal animation by equipping the interceptor badge and now an automatic jump shot animation by activating real player percentage is not looking good for 2k i know a lot of casual gamers may find this fun at first but i gotta tell you as you get to the competitive levels you're not gonna be wanting to use real player percentage because any level of a contest when you're running against lockdown teams you will be bricking out there and that'll be 2k holding your hand into a bad game if you guys out there use real player percentage please let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear from you let me know your experience on what you've seen so far using real player percentage i personally haven't used it in nba 2k 22 and i doubt i ever will i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider Consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because we intend to have a ton of 2k22 content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all